I'm Lucy. And I'm Callum. Does our sense of right and wrong point to a deeper story beyond the atoms and molecules that we're made from? That's what we've been asking. But couldn't our sense of right and wrong just have evolved naturally, without any need to appeal to anything beyond the physical world? For example, here's what Charles Darwin said. Any animal whatever endowed with well-marked social instincts would inevitably acquire a moral sense or conscience as soon as its intellectual powers have become as well-developed as in man. The desire to help other people seems to be built into human nature. But where has it come from? Evolutionists tried to explain it in terms of kin altruism, helping my genes to survive by helping someone else who shares my genes, like a sister or brother. Or they try to explain it in terms of reciprocal altruism, helping someone else who will help me to survive in turn. But neither of these is really altruism. They're not about helping someone else at a cost to myself. Rather, they're both forms of selfishness that just happen to involve helping someone else. Evolution still has a problem explaining genuine altruism. For example, when a soldier throws himself on a grenade to save the lives of his friends. On an evolutionary explanation of things, this kind of unselfish act, helping someone else at an overall cost to me and my own genes, is always a mistake. It's an instinct that has gone wrong. That's why Richard Dawkins can describe feelings of pity as Darwinian mistakes, blessed precious mistakes, but still mistakes. And this isn't the only problem for attempts to explain how right and wrong could have evolved naturally, as we'll see next time.